Tournament news is coming thick and fast this morning. Fred Ridley, the chairman of Augusta National Golf Club and the Masters Tournament, has announced three players have accepted invitations to compete in the Masters. Thorbjorn Olesen, Rio Haisatsune and Joaquin Neiman. This statement from Chairman Ridley this morning saying the Masters Tournament has a long-standing tradition of inviting leading international players who are not otherwise qualified. Today's announcement represents the tournament's continued commitment towards developing interest in the game of golf across the world. We look forward to welcoming each player to Augusta National this spring. And a lot of the attention, Matt's likely to focus on Joaquin Neiman as a live player being invited. Mm -hmm. uh, although in specifying why he was invited, the Masters Tournament sing singled out his victory in the Australian Open and top five finishes in his last three DP World Tour events. No mention of Liv at all, which to me suggests that it's, it's very much based on merit. Liv is not under consideration as qualifying someone to play in the Masters. What they do on tours whose competitive integrity can be vouched for does actually matter, regardless of whether or not they play on Liv. Uh, it's interesting. I'm not 100% certain that the omission of the mention of Liv would uh, completely invalidate what he's done, because with club in hand on Liv, he's had some very impressive performances there as well there there were quite a bit of uh, groundswell of support that was that was brewing behind getting him into the masters by virtue of the same so i would still like to believe that it that it's for the entirety of what he's accomplished so far i think that might be optimistic i think the question bill one to me is thorbjorn olison mm -hmm. who's you know he's 59th in the world so he could technically still play his way in by virtue of being top 50 in the world, and he has had, I think it's what, five top 10 finishes in his last seven starts. He's five years removed from his last performance in the Masters. He's not from a grow the game part of the world in the way that the other two invitees are. I mean, he's from Copenhagen, he's mid-career, 34 year old. It seems, that one seems just slightly out of left field. Well, I mean, he has, he has won recently, and he's, he's yep. also a story of redemption, isn't he? With, with the pits and valleys of life that he had to walk through and climb out of to get himself and get his game back again. I do think he's an exciting player. Remember when yeah. he came out and all the comparisons were between him and Rory in terms of style? He's kept himself in shape. He's strong as can be. I think he's an exciting player. I do think it's interesting that in two of these three that we're looking at, you're, you've got different regions of the world that you're noting that are great for expansion and growth yeah. of the game. And then the other from a DP World Tour player even from that perspective, if you're looking at it from a global basis, a macro basis, and you're Augusta National, this is good. This is healthy of the game. This is, these are the things that Augusta National does in order to spread that goodwill globally. And all three of these guys are absolutely defensible as invitees to the Masters. And it, it, to me, I suppose it just illustrates the fact that when anyone is invited to the Masters beyond what is the published criteria for mm -hmm. qualifying automatically, it's going to be subject to a tremendous amount of scrutiny and um, you know, analysis as to why certain people are in. You can make a case for all of them. It's not as though anyone is so far out of left field that you're thinking, what is that guy doing in the field? It's well, I, I have two thoughts to that. The, the first one is, I'm glad that they're doing it. I'm, I'm happy to see that Augusta National is saying, we think there, that there are people that have merit to be here that are outside the normal criteria. Mm -hmm. The second part of it is, it's Augusta National, and Augusta National is going to do what they want to do.